Uh, well, there has been an estimated 35% decrease in COVID-19 numbers over the past few weeks. Technical Director of Epidemiology, Dr. Avery Hines, says this downward trend looks to be continuing this week as well. Senator Lala joined the Health Ministry's virtual media conference and files this report. Because this is your, I don't want to use the word um, victory, but this is your accomplishment. Health Minister Terence Dialsing is praising the public for adhering to simple measures to curb the spread of COVID-19, as he's noticed a downward trend with regards to positive cases. Dr. Avery Hines indicated that he has also noticed a consistent decrease in weekly cases and is hoping that trend continues. And we were looking at the comparison between this week and last week and the comparison between last week and the week before. And we saw that from last, from the week before to last week, we saw a 35% decrease. And this week seemed to set to end on a similar trend. The health minister was asked by TDT News whether this decrease in numbers may have any effect on the prime minister's decision to relax some COVID-19 measures when he updates the nation after the next 28-day cycle, which ends on October 11th. The more you open up and the more people move, we need to have even more compliance with the public health measures if we are to open up more and more. So we are with the Honourable Prime Minister's decision. Minister Dial Singh also gave an update on COVID-19 testing. He said this country has a capacity to conduct just under 1,300 tests per day. He admitted that the system was stretched when daily cases were at its peak, but believes the ministry is very capable with the number of tests being done currently. Right now, we're in a good space with between, I think, 400 to 600 tests a day. And we are comfortable with that load. And if the population continues to wear masks, sanitize, stay home if you are ill, we'll be in a very, very good place to turn around results. The minister said, though, that one of the test machines has to come offline for scheduled maintenance and software upgrades. But this will not affect the current testing capacity. Sonolala, TTT News.